by marrying your marketing automation, which is also controlling your email marketing, with your content management system, your website, adding that together with behavioral email marketing so you can detect certain behaviors on your website and immediately recognize that and take certain actions in your email marketing, you'll be able to automatically send very specific emails in response to very specific kinds of actions. Three B2B email marketing stats that help shape your priorities. While B2B email marketing sometimes gets a bad rap many times and trash talked by self-serving purveyors of competitive alternatives, other ways of communicating with prospects and customers, email marketing is still very much a vital go-to-market strategy for companies that sell to other businesses, business to business or B2B. Approach correctly with a thoughtful content strategy centered around customer insight, especially buyer personas, buyer's journey mapping, and the jobs to be done framework. Email marketing does a lot of the heavy lifting when accelerating your leads into sales opportunities and new customers into highly satisfied new customers and promoters, also known as brand evangelists for your company. I'm gonna get into three email marketing stats that I think are super important, but before I do that, can I ask you to please take a moment to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button and ringing the bell so you can be notified when new content just like this becomes available. First up, you can count on a 300% lift when your B2B email marketing gets paired up with a trigger that's coming from a specific action or what's also known as behavioral email. Traditional email marketing leans heavily on lead nurturing, often known as drip campaigns, that educate and build trust with your prospects with the goal of sales cycle acceleration. So sooner rather than later, your leads become educated and more motivated to want to have great conversations with people from your sales team. That said, once you're able to combine your marketing automation platform um, with a marketing automation platform that is integrated with your content management system, your CMS, along with behavioral email marketing. So by marrying your marketing automation, which is also controlling your email marketing, with your content management system, your website, adding that together with behavioral email marketing so you can detect certain behaviors on your website and immediately recognize that and take certain actions in your email marketing, you'll be able to automatically send very specific emails in response to very specific kinds of actions. For example, when a known lead revisits your website and hits a case study page or hits a pricing page or an about us page or a contact page, you have a pretty good idea in mind of what the response should be of what the next logical step should be for someone that just visited your case study page or just visited a contact page or a pricing page. So why not send a highly specific message to that particular person and suggest the next logical step for who that person is, their buyer persona, where they are in the journey, and most of all, the behavior that you just implicitly observed by being able to integrate your website with your marketing automation platform. When this particular trigger happens, you can expect that these emails will have a click-through rate that will perform three times better, or just overall performance that will perform 300% better than ordinary lead nurturing emails. 300% better, huge, definitely worth testing. Second, uh, email for the most part is still the primary communications channel used by B2B professionals, people that work in other businesses. Most teams became very remote centric during the pandemic where default communications channels leaned heavily on tools like Microsoft Teams, and Slack, and Zoom. However, heading into the lockdown, 88% of professionals still ranked email as their preferred communications channel. So no matter how overloaded people feel about having to jump on webcams and that energy level and everything that makes people fatigued, email is still a very much primary communication default channel that most B2B professionals want to communicate with each other on. And third, B2B email marketing enjoys comparatively high click-through rates or CTRs relative to B2C or business to consumer email. When again, you ground your B2B email marketing strategy in sound best practices, including buyer personas, lead segmentation, and effective personalization, 
B2B emails perform significantly better than B2C emails, other things being equal. How much better? Well, B2B email marketing tends to have a 47% higher click-through rate compared to B2C emails, just by virtue alone of having a better idea of what the company is, who the person is, their roles, their goals, their challenges, all that great stuff that you start to understand about your ideal buyers when you have a significant investment and commitment to a great customer experience backed up by strong customer insight. What have you found most effective in your B2B email marketing program? Let me know in the comments section down below. And if you're looking for some one-on-one -on -one assistance with improving how your company uses email marketing, feel free to look me up on LinkedIn, send me a quick note about what kind of help you're looking for, and we may be able to work together. I'm Joshua Feinberg from SP Home Run, and I wish you great success in using B2B email marketing as a critical part of your company's revenue growth engine. Hey there, it's Joshua Feinberg from SP Home Run, and we are so glad that you stopped by to watch this video today. If you got good value from its content, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell so that you can be notified when new videos just like this become available. Hope you're having a great day, and we wish you great success.